automation. Nobody wants to do repetitive tasks and nobody wants to spend too much time automating. So people uh, invented IFTT, step functions and other things like Node-RED. And today I want to talk about one of these tools from Berlin. Let's take a look at their site first. This is their site. It's uh, quite good. It's commercial tool. So they have really good uh, website, but they actually have self-hosting option. Yeah, so basically they're just showing uh, what they have in their interface. It's quite good and they're listing all the users uh, using them. Uh, I see really big names here. Yeah, it's a quite a good site. Uh, I really like uh, they're showing their interface on a website. So let's take a look what they have on GitHub. This is basically all written in Node.js and Node.js is all you need on your machine to just run it. And alternatively you can run it as Docker container or you can embed it in your application as uh, Node.js. Yeah, uh, and their main product of course is cloud version. Uh -huh. Yeah, so basically the name is Nodemation, Nodemation, yeah. So let's go and take a look how to use it, how to install it. Um, I'm considering using it for personal automation tasks. So let's see how easy to use it. Let's go for installation. Oh yeah, you can just use it as NPM. Uh, but I tried it and uh, it takes too much time to install it, so I opted out just for docker container, which was much faster. And by default it uses SQLite, so let's try to use it. But you can actually scale it later with Postgres and MySQL. Let's try to start. Let's change... Uh, path to data to current directory I don't want to pollute my own directory here um, just oh no oh it should be different it should be like this right data so it will create data directory and this my n8 not a mention directory. So because I already downloaded it once, it's quite fast. Uh, let's take a look first uh, how much uh, resources it's using. So it's not quite a lot, only like 200 megabytes. Not a lot of CPU in it all. It's a good sign for self-hosting project. Let's take a look what it's using in data. Uh, yes, so it's using just database SQLite. Uh, you so you don't really need to host your own database, uh, which is again good for self-hosting. Because in self-hosting, we don't really want to maintain stuff ourselves. Yeah, so let's go take a look. Oh, so maybe we can just skip it up for now. Uh, no, so no, we don't want set up. Just go for using it. Oh, it's a little bit of questionary. No, I'm not using it for work and other um, just rumors. Get started. Yeah, and it's pretty much very simple interface. Uh, there's editor and execution, so it's just point and click interface. Uh, it states that it's for techies and I expected here some, uh, at least some code editor or ability to configure it from the code, but just from interface, I don't see how to do that. So what do we have as a trigger here? So first of all, of course, we need to add trigger, uh, so we can use this event in some app, 
on schedule, which is uh, standard webhook, right? So it's uh, uh, probably mostly people use manually. Yeah, so this is just manual one of tasks, right? And we can just chain workflow, I guess, some other ways. So let's take a look. Oh, email trigger, error trigger. Yeah, this is quite interesting, actually, email trigger. Uh, N810, uh, handle events, perform actions on your N810 instance. So it's a kind of self-automation. Interesting. Um, triggers the workflow when servers send events. I could, this I don't understand. Um, this is even more nested menus. An active workflow update. Okay, this is something very specific. Let's start really small on schedule. Okay, trigger interval days. Okay, let's set days. Uh, and what do I do here? This is output. Ah, okay, so basically this is what this event will be meeting, right? Um, so maybe let's set uh, me bash one and you two two yes yeah good but can I actually create rule by code always output data execute plans yeah I wish this not would. Ah, okay, so this is, okay. This is basically just a feedback. But what do you do next? How do I use it? Oh, basic, oh, probably I should trigger it. Okay, I should have just clicked this one. And now I can just trigger it, right? This is a trigger one, yeah? Now I should just click play, okay. Okay, makes sense. Uh, can I just, kind of output it maybe I can add some data transformation code date time rename keys okay ah, okay so it already knows about input it gets nice uh, so I can I can basically add a new key I guess and I can add key oh so I can do like this Oh, nice. And I can rename it to my name, right? Uh huh. Ah, so it automatically executes previous nodes. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. So this is no code solution for techies. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, is there any? codification of this okay and what I actually can do after triggering it okay now it's not clicking two items okay I can do some action oh they have a lot lots of uh, automation integrations Kafka hmm nice Nice, there's lots of automation. I see. Zoho CRM, yeah. Can I use something that doesn't require account here, actually? Mm. Probably not. Or some simple action. Convert data to markdown makes sense. So I can output something via JSON and then create, uh, for example, email from this. I'd expect to see some machine learning here actually. Helpers. Execution data. Add execution data for search. Is there something? Can I search in Google, for example? Google Books, Google Docs, 
Um, can I use Google Docs? Create document. And I need credential, create new. Oh, good. Service account. So for this, for service account and Google, you need to create application in Google Apps. Um, and for this, yeah, this wouldn't work because it uses local host. And for all, of, uh, again, I will need to create a client ID and client secret uh, in Google App. Hmm. No, I wouldn't try it. I need I need something easy to try. Oh, so this is basically control flow. I cannot if. So let's maybe delete this one. And flow if if code. Uh, Okay, JSON code. So here there is, uh, yeah, so I can basically add here some condition and just write it in JavaScript. Makes sense. I'm gonna just remove it. Cannot condition boolean value. Which value? Not sure which value. We can just put some condition here. Okay, makes sense. But I don't understand which value. Okay, there is documentation. I'm not going to read any documentation. Um, just understand if I can use it without reading any documentation here, actually. I and mean, what is this? Ah, so I can add node from here. Okay, you can use files, local file, write binary file. So maybe I can just output it as a local file and change this to a specific file, specific folder. Let's just use specific file. Oh, this is trigger. No, I don't need trigger. Uh, let's remove it. True, false, true, false. Okay, let's remove this. And no, we don't need this. We need files local file and changes to a specific file so this is a trigger and i need action i, I want to write into some file hmm. can i write to file no execution data hmm. so Let's take a look what they have here. Credentials, this uh, it you know. Uh, leave without saving. Uh, okay, so variables are not available. So this is probably something like global variables. I don't really think I need them. Uh, start from scratch. Can I use, uh, oh, there is templates, okay. DevOps and IT, let's take a look. Notify a team about new software releases via Slack and GitHub. But you can do that directly, right? You don't really need NA10 for this. GitHub trigger Slack. But I can do that directly from GitHub. I don't need automation. Okay. Create send SMS alerts based on database queries. This is interesting. Hmm. Maybe something which is not DevOps and IT. Uh, communication. Send alert when data created. Oh, something here was interesting. Create and share temporary password by Telegram bot. This is actually something I would use. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. So basically we trigger it via telegram. Let's take a look what happens inside. Uh -huh. so just trigger. Hmm. So probably we just uh, ingest it here. What do we do? So it, if it contains password. It will execute. Okay, I see. Uh, so value, value actually, uh, value 
we need to copy from here and uh, check here okay so this is this is kind of a query to json and then we check this query for password okay i see and probably password here is kind of a common to telegram uh -huh. so then so if there are no password it will send it will send some events uh -huh. so it's <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, in Spanish, I think. And yeah, so you have to. If it's not password comment, it will just send you please send password. Okay, and then it will create. Okay, so this is setting up configuration for password. And this is probably some kind of kind uh, password uh, password password generator service. Mm -hmm. And thus request HTTP request to what? I'm not sure. So it does some HTTP request. Ah, okay. It's probably to that service. It will generate you a password. Then it will set password. Uh huh. Yes. So it's basically retrieving this password. Then just send it as Telegram, right? Oh, okay. So this is just password. Password generator. Hmm. Password generator boss. Which makes total sense. I really like it. I really, really like it. Really good automation. But I wish I would I would be able somehow to see it as a uh, as a code. What if I download it? So it will be just JSON, right? Okay. So it's JSON. It's just some nodes. It's array of nodes with parameters makes sense but probably there should be some kind of api and client and then it's kind of doesn't make sense right it's quite quite good let me know if this format was interesting for you i would uh, try to investigate further if i can use it by the way let's try take a look how much memory it uses yeah so it's still 150 it's quite good so hosting service really good and i10 like it ciao